హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు వెల్కమ్ టు జావా ఎఫ్ ఎక్స్ టూ డి ట్యూటోరియల్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి హౌ టు డ్రా పాలిలైన్స్ పాలిలైన్స్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ లైన్స్ so here if you see here in this drawing if we want to know the connected points so if you see this is one point 2 3 4 and 5 connected points right so first two points are required to initiate the drawing after that if we have a new point the previously drawn line will get connected with this new point then p4 comes into picture the end point of the previous line becomes the start point a new line will be drawn here it is p5 previous end point becomes a start point and this new point becomes the end point so this we this way we will do the um, connected line drawing or we can say polyline drawing so here we are not building arcs it's as part of our previous example here we are going to do with uh, polyline so first we construct the node type of polyline and we are storing that as p line then we are setting the stroke for our line object polyline object stroke brown color outline or pen color is brown then using the set stroke width we are setting the pen thickness we don't want to do any filling so we set fill as null after that from our polyline object from p line we make call to get points so this will give the observable list of double so collection of double we can say and we are naming that as points and if you see when we add two number together this represents one point so we can say this is pt1 but we add two double to the uh, or two number decimal number to the collection okay pt1 is ready next we specify second set of point pt2 so this pt1 and pt2 is enough to draw a first line and from next time onwards if we have a single point the line will get connected suppose if pt3 is here the line will be drawn from previous known point so you see how the lines are get connected based on the previously known point so the end point of this segment becomes a start point for the second segment so if you specify one point and it will connect with the previous one so that's all if you see we get points from the polyline then we will add the uh, numbers to denote the points so here if you see it will be a collection and even though we pass number the java fx framework will automatically alternate this as x coordinate y coordinate x coordinate y coordinate like that 
and these together forms one point and these two forms uh, one point based on x and y coordinates now since we have all these points ready we get root dot get children we have shapes then to shapes we add our polyline so here we constructed polyline right we are adding it to the um, group so our scene graph contains a group node right to the group node we are adding the polyline node p line so group contains only one child here we are adding only one polyline but the polyline contains multiple numbers that together denotes a line segment so these two child together specifies one point likewise we added multiple point to this p line and we are adding this p line to the group all right now it's demo time let's go to the demo and perform this uh, drawing so we will make our final example copy here we will do the paste and uh, this time we will name it as uh, polyline drawing effector remove all unused imports we will remove arc drawing i mean quad curve previously we drawn quad curve right i am just uh, removing that since the code was already explained uh, no further explanation is required here so polyline you are taking it from the yfx dot scene dot shape then observable list we used this multiple time node node is from the yfx dot scene dot node here if you see we use a two observable list one list is to denote the points and another list is to denote the shapes and shape is added to the root to construct the scene graph all right now we will perform the rebuild and we will run the file so this is our connected line based on the point we specified here we specified the point right so x and y location denotes the specific uh, line segment and if you want to know where exactly the line will come you can use a paint brush and its a pixel notations that's all here in this video thank you for watching and now we will end the java effects 2d sub series it's just a primer for you because we already covered 2d in uh, multiple places in um, java awt we created a simple drawing application there also we used uh, uh, line circle rectangle drawing then we continued our learning in uh, java 2d package then here in java fx we saw how to use uh, uh, 2d drawing using a scene graph so this will give a good hands on on java fx and it will help you to further climb up in java 
f x u y as well as a 3d so i'm ending this sub series and in the next sub series we will start how to use java f x u y uh, ui in the sense user interface and the user interface also follow the same terminology like uh, you will be having a stage and in that stage you will create nodes and each node represents a ui control and that way you will design your uh, uh, user interface all right thank you for watching bye